Hello everyone, welcome to Body Bags. I'll be your reviewer for today. I'm Lonnie from Terran Tats. And uh, I think you've been following this week. We're doing a theme week. And it's Creepy Crawlies. And uh, the movie I decided to go with is from 2015. This is a, um, I think there's something like a sci-fi channel movie if I'm not mistaken. But it's, uh, it's a movie from IFC in combination, in, uh, collaboration with um, Screen Factory and it is Stung and uh, this movie it's it's pretty fun it's pretty interesting um it's not oh uh, here's the storyline okay you have your two main characters you have Paul and Julia and they're driving out you know to this they're both working for a catering service it turns out that uh, I you know something happened to Julia's father and now Julia's Basically, she's trying to run the business, and of course, you know, she's nervous, you know, she's got a lot to live up to, she's scared, she wants to make sure that, you know, they're going to cater this party for these rich people and stuff, and it turns out one of them is the mayor, um, you know, so she won't, of course, you know, it's like she's wanting to, you know, carry on her dad's legacy, and she wants to do him proud and everything, so she wants to get the business and, you know, do everything right. So, you know, it's the guy that she's with, Paul, he's kind of more like the, um, you know, he's kind of like, okay, the loafer, kind of the slacker, stoner type and everything else. And, you know, and just kind of like, um, you know, there are things like he's doing in the, just kind of the way he acts and all this kind of stuff. It's like, you know, yeah, it's like Julia kind of sees this, thinks it's kind of amusing and stuff like that. But to be honest with you, it's like, personally, it's like, after a while, it's not like, it's not quirky, it's not funny, it's just annoying, you know, and just, he just kind of gets irritating after a while, and it's like, you know, clearly if this guy had any damn brains at all, like, if he was paying attention to anything, he would understand, you know, like, Julia, she's, you know, she's got a lot on her plate, and, you know, she's got a lot of things, you know, she's trying to do, you know, she's trying to make sure that everything goes right, and all he's doing is just like, man, I'm trying to, you know, I'm here helping her and she don't appreciate me, you know, just like, oh my God, it's like, are you one of those kind of guys, Ugh. watching his character in this movie, I was just like, are you one of those kind of guys, like, you know, you like pissed off because, you know, like, you know, like, you know, I don't, you know, oh, you know, I walk in a room, man, I expect women to just jump all over me and all this stuff, you know, my life should be a porno and I'm pissed off this, no, it's like, are you one of those kind of guys? Anyway, I can, I'm getting way off track, let's get back to the movie. So anyway, so they get to this, uh, you know, they get to this uh, rich estate and everything. And it turns out the uh, people who own the estate, they're uh, like pharmaceutical developers and stuff. And um, there's the mother and the son is named uh, Sydney, who's played by Clifton Collins Jr. Clifton Collins, he's a lot, he's a lot of fun to watch in this movie. He's a really good actor, you know. Uh, he plays Sydney, and, you know, just... It turns out that, uh, well, one thing a lot of people don't know in the beginning is that Sydney is doing these, he's kind of using like pharmaceutical stuff that he's mixing with fertilizer to, you know, like use in their garden and the yard and stuff like that. And it turns out what it ends up doing is, is it starts making bug mutations, particularly wasps, wasp mutations. And so, you know, they're, you know, they're doing their party and, uh, Julia, she's serving the guests, Paul is bartending, and, you know, everything seems like it's just kind of a really dull, kind of a lifeless party and everything, and then, you know, you get the mayor, Mayor Carruthers, played by Lance Henriksen. Oh, big surprise, who couldn't figure this coming? Of course, once Lance Henriksen gets in the movie, he steals the whole show, you know, I mean, he's like, <laughs> yeah. Big surprise. Who didn't see that coming? You know, Lance Henriksen, as soon as he shows up, yeah, he steals the movie. And, you know, he's pretty much the best one in the movie. Next, uh, I would say, you know, him and then Clifton Collins Jr. is definitely a close second. But, um, you know, then the bugs, they start attacking. They start, you know, stinging people. And then, you know, it's interesting because this is a little bit different, you know, than you would think. But it's like when the bug, the uh, wasp, they sting somebody. Then it turns out that that like like a wasp kind of like grows inside of them, and then these big giant wasps start you know kind of like coming out, almost like bursting out of them. You know, s sort of something like the alien from 
you know, the chest bursts are from alien or something, but in this case, they're giant wasps. And then, um, so now you got, you know, this small band of survivors. You got Paul, you got Julia, you got, you know, Mayor Carruthers and stuff. And, you know, now they got to try to fight to stay alive and they got to try to, you know, um, and then, you know, like, yeah, it's, you know, it definitely has that feel of like, uh, in terms of the storyline, it definitely has, I feel of like a kind of an old fashioned kind of like fifties or sixties kind of, you know, like tampering with nature resulting in, you know, like a killer, you know, giant killer insects and stuff like that thing we've seen in movies before, you know, stuff like something you would see in something maybe like them or something, whatever, you know, um, but yeah, you know, and, uh, this is a fun movie, you know, for the most part. I will say, though, um, the biggest thing that's really going to be the scene stealer for this movie, aside from Lance Henriksen and Clifton Collins Jr., is the the practical effects. This is a this is a special effects extravaganza. And they do, you know, you do a mixture of um, both practical and CGI effects. The practical effects are amazing. It looks so good. This movie is so yucky and gross and everything else. And, you know, just such great creature effects and everything else. And it is. It's so entertaining to watch. Now, you got the um, now you got the uh, uh, visual effects. The visual effects are kind of, you know, it's kind of 50-50. In some instances, the visual effects look pretty good. In some instances, it just looks really crappy and so cheap looking. But, you know, but, uh, yeah, if you can kind of just, like, you know, go along for the ride. And I do think, you know, yeah, even though some of the visual effects aren't really that great, but here's the thing, the practical effects more than make up for it. And just, you know, so much creatures, you know, the, the uh, giant, like, you know, wasp creatures that they create. And then, you know, like the, the morphing, you know, like when people are like morphing into, you know, the wasps and stuff like that, you know, and they're like, you know, like Clifton Collins, like when he's, you know, he starts to morph into it. He's like half man, half wasp and everything. And just such great creature effects and everything else. And um, so, yeah, I would definitely say that this movie, it's a lot of fun. Um, some of the jokes don't really land, though. I got to be honest. I mean, yeah, it is. It is like sci-fi, horror, comedy, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, but some of the jokes are good. Some of the jokes don't really land. Um I would say, you know, like, uh, I, I had to say, I just don't really feel like, um, the characters of Paul and Julia, I mean, even though they're, they end up being love interests and stuff like this, you know, they just don't really seem to have a lot of chemistry together. At least that's my opinion, but, um, still overall, I would definitely say, give this a watch. It's fun. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of a good throwback to, you know, those sci-fi kind of, you know, like, um, killer bug movies and everything else it definitely has that feel to it and um but i would say yeah yeah especially just watch it if nothing else you know watch it for the practical effects and everything else you know the artistry and the effects is so good and so great you know and just it's oh yeah and it's just it's such a gruesome fun time and like i said you know like clifton collins jr he's awesome in this and then you know lance hendrickson come on so so anyway, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much about all I can really say about this movie. But uh, this is a lot of fun, and I would definitely recommend, you know, giving it a watch. Yeah. So especially if you're in the mood for a giant killer bug movie, you know, a little bit of humor and stuff like that. But just, I would say that's probably about my only, yeah, I'd say that's probably about my only complaint. is just, you know, some of the, some of the jokes don't really work. And, you know, like the character, you know, kind of like some of the dynamic between the characters doesn't always really land. But... Anyway, that's it. I think, uh, yeah, at this point, I'm just going to start repeating myself. So uh, if anybody took the time to watch this, I thank you for doing it. And I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Body Bags channel. We have a different reviewer, one for every day of the week. I am the Saturday reviewer. We have a lot of different guys. Everybody's doing great stuff. And, uh, yeah, we got more fun stuff coming the way, more theme weeks, everything else. So... So that's it. So everybody take care. Have a good night and I'll see you later.